Our first uh, site here in Malaysia was uh, Malacca. Uh, 51 years ago we started there, so uh, and, and then came Kulim. We have also a site in, in, in Penang and we are moving also up the value chain from packaging into uh, wafer manufacturing. It's the biggest uh, wafer fab in Malaysia here where we are just standing and we are expanding it now. And uh, that's why we are contributing. And uh, Malaysia is really second home to us. Uh, we employ more colleagues here in Malaysia by now than in Germany, as a matter of fact. Okay. Uh, talk to you, help us understand what you mean by uh, the silicon carbides and advanced packaging and how different are these products you're going to build here compared to the products that uh, we've seen over the last five to 10 years? Just how different and how much more t and technically different are these now? It's technically really a breakthrough. It's a very different material than silicon. It's more expensive as a matter of fact, but it allows us to offer new solutions for really uh, important applications uh, which contribute to decarbonization and digitalization. And in particular decarbonization, uh, silicon carbide is the base for e-mobility. It's the base for the inverters in, in electric cars. It's the base for solar, for wind. Um, and it's also the base for the power-hungry AI data centers. So uh, it's really significant contribution uh, and with a purpose. And that makes also people really proud of uh, working here at Infineon Kulim. I'm glad you brought up working here because one of the uh, challenges that's been pointed out by people who have been following the semiconductor story in Malaysia is, yes, the likes of Infineon and your peers want to invest here, but is there enough talent to meet the new needs and the demands of these new products you're actually building? Do you think that there is a talent or skills gap that needs to be overcome? And what do you think are the keys for Malaysia to meet that if it does exist? Yeah, in general, of course, uh, all over the world, uh, uh, the semiconductor industry in particular is chasing talents. But I think the, the base here in Malaysia is good, right? It's a sizable population, uh, a young population. Um, and uh, we as an employer have a good reputation to attract talents. We are working together with the universities. We are also spending quite some efforts into training people on the job. So really for the long term. So we are investing not only into uh, um, material and, and, and equipment, but we are investing here uh, in Malaysia in people uh, to train them and to grow. I think that is the most important.